Welcome back to TennisShare channel. If you've switched from Android to iPhone and don't know how to transfer WhatsApp messages, photos and videos, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you two easy ways to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. Whether you have a new iPhone or want to keep your data intact without resetting your device. Let's get started. Method 1. Transfer WhatsApp with Move to iOS. If your iPhone is brand new and hasn't been activated yet, using Move to iOS is also a good option. First download the Move to iOS app on your Android device. Open it and follow the on-screen instructions until you get to the one-time code interface. Now, we need to reset the iPhone to get the one-time code. Open iPhone Settings, tap General, find the Transfer or Reset iPhone option, and then proceed to erase all content and settings. Wait for Apple to reset the process. Once the reset is complete, let's continue with the setup. Make sure to connect to the same Wi-Fi as Android. Complete all settings until you reach the Transfer your apps and data interface. Select the Transfer data from Android option. Click Continue. You'll see the one-time code and enter it in Android. Now, you can scroll down to find the WhatsApp option and check it. Click to start the transfer. This is very fast because my WhatsApp data is small. Of course, you can also check and transfer other data. After the transfer is completed, complete the activation of the iPhone settings. You will see WhatsApp on the screen and click it to enter the App Store to download. After the download is complete, open WhatsApp, follow the prompts and enter your mobile number. Once logged in, follow the WhatsApp prompts to transfer your chats and then enter your personal information. Nice, everything's done. All your WhatsApp messages are now on your iPhone. Easy as that. If your iPhone has already been set up and you don't want to reset it, I have another method. Method 2. Transfer WhatsApp using iCareFone Transfer. If you don't want to reset your iPhone, you can use iCareFone Transfer for transfer. It supports WhatsApp data transfer between different devices and systems, meets the needs of various usage scenarios, and helps you transfer WhatsApp messages at high speed without losing data. I've put the download link in the description. First, connect both your Android device and your iPhone to your computer. Then launch iCareFone Transfer. Choose WhatsApp. Set your Android phone as the source and your iPhone as the destination. Click Transfer at the bottom. You'll see a prompt to enable you SB debugging on your Android device. Open Settings. Scroll down and tap About Phone. Tap Software Information. Find Build Number and tap it multiple times until Developer Mode is enabled. Go back to Settings, open Developer Options and enable you SB debugging. Once that's done, confirm the authorization. You need to follow the prompts to complete the WhatsApp backup on your Android device. Open Settings in WhatsApp. Scroll down to select Chats, then choose Chat Backup. Select End-to-End -end Encrypted Backup at the bottom and turn it on. Choose to use a 64-digit encryption key instead and take a screenshot to save it. Now start creating your WhatsApp backup. Once done, tap Continue on iCareFone. Now iCareFone will begin to get your backed up WhatsApp data from your Android device. This may take some time depending on the size of your chats and media. So please be patient. Then you need to enter the 64-digit encryption key you just saved and click Verify. Alright, now you can select the data you want to transfer to your iPhone. Then tap Continue. Then you need to log in to WhatsApp on your iPhone. Once done, click Logged In. This will begin restoring WhatsApp data to your iPhone. Please be patient during this process and your iPhone will restart in the meantime. And that's it. Your WhatsApp messages, photos, and media are now restored to your iPhone. Super easy, no complicated resets or iCloud tricks required. If this video helped, make sure to like and share it with friends who might need it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.